Good morning, guys. Hello, G. Namaste. This is your girl, Naganuna, back again with another new video. And meet him. This is Nico. As you guys already know, you might have uh, met him in the, one of my Konomaka video. <laughs> Remember? Yes. Yeah, to the, yeah, uh, crazy time there. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he uh, he's actually from Mima village. And can you tell me what's going on right now? Like? Uh, so we, we are organizing uh, B and Honey Trails. So I, I, I invited her to come and experience that authentic uh, underground honeybees. Yeah, so we'll get to experience that. Also learn a lot about how they do it. And I think uh, special local delicacies as well. Yes, we'll get to you know taste it. And I think it's going to be a very good experience because this is my first time going to Mima Village, by the way. Yeah, I've never been to me at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, so thank you so much for having me. Let's go have a great day together. Chalo, chalo, chalo. But sadly, Nico won't be coming <laughs> because he's uh, got a lot of other works to do now. Nah? Like he's got some important things to do. So his friend, his friend's name is? Uh, Nito. Nito, right? Yeah. Nito will be taking me around and along with that, we'll be meeting some few more people there yeah. for in the village now. Nah? So, chalo, see you guys. Well, guys, video aage jaane se pehle, let's do some skincare because that's the most important thing at the moment. And I'm going to be showing you some products that is really good for skin hydration and also for dark spots and pigmentations. So, guys, the Dermacos Kojic Acid Range here comes to your rescue with the power of two actives, two person Kojic Acid and one person Alpha Arbutin. The two person Kojic Acid here penetrates deep into your skin to reduce hyperpigmentation, dark spots and blemishes and the one person alpha arbutin here controls the production of melanin. So for the first step I'll be using the one person Kojic Acid face wash which is super gentle on the skin and this helps reduces dark spots, pigmentation and makes the skin clearer. It has an amazing non-drying formula which is super gentle on the skin as well. For the next step I'll follow it up with the two person Kojic Acid Serum which helps to even out the skin tone and minimizes the recurrence of discoloration. And when using active ingredients, it's very important to use a broad spectrum sunscreen to avoid sun damage. So the one person hyaluronic sunscreen aqua gel has the power of SPF 50 and PA++++ formulation. It is super lightweight, fragrance free and leaves no white cast. And the effective combination of hyaluronic acid and vitamin E here helps fight sun damage while also reducing fine lines, wrinkles and making your skin soft like butter. Also the best thing here is that Dermaco has empowered 10,000 plus students this year with their Young Scientist Initiative. So every time you buy from them, Dermaco will link your order to a child that they help educate along with Bumi. And all the products by Dermaco are fragrance free. So check the link in my description. Use my coupon code NAGA2024 for 20% off. And it's available on Amazon, Nika, Flipkart and the Dermaco website. So don't forget to check it out. By the way, I just forgot to introduce you. Abnila Namdo Nito na Nito Nicholas ka friend hai. So since Nicholas cannot come, uh, his friend is going to be taking me around Mima village and he's taking me to his house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Balnandi. Hey, Aishi de. So guys, this is Nito's uh, house. Chai ke liye rukhe yahan pe. Um, I just couldn't sleep at all i mean last night uh, we met a few friends and we were just chilling and bought late tak nahi so paya and that's why i woke up really late today so i couldn't have my breakfast nothing done us like youtubers mostly hustling you know bought tired karke we don't even get to rest and we're like going around during the daytime and then at night time socializing with people as well and then at the end again editing video during the daytime so it's sometimes gets very tiring so i was just telling nito about that and he told me chalo let's stop at my house and uh, let's have a cup of tea or a coffee just to you know waken you up a little bit because i was like oh yawning and tired no so anyway thanks to nito for inviting me to his house now let's uh, chalo sit here have a cup of coffee or a tea and uh, we'll go to so we'll head straight to mima village because they're all waiting so sweet of nito's family uh, i just said like you know nindara and then coffee banadia on top of that, egg bhi fry karke de diya because wo usko lage maine kuch subah se nahi khaya. Nahi to to aaye wo to bahar mein hi hai. So I'll just have this and then we'll move out. Malanti.
Kali Lai Chugaran. So, guys, uh, Nito is actually taking me on a tour, mm -hmm. drive around Mima village, and I just learned one thing. If, uh, like, you know, someone is going out and then you're crossing the village, and you know, that village, Kajo Jaga, is me, that is that a local. Everyone is around village, Bahar, me beta hota hai, ya fir aise gather karke beta hota hai to. When you're passing by, they say, "Pidho, right? Pidho, right?" So that means like, "Jai Sri, Jai Ram, man." So so fun, yeah. Like literally telling everyone, na, jana manu, sab ke jani hai kya to na, yeah. And then ahadam ki koi kuch le, wazo, wazo. And then when you you're coming, you say, "Wazo." So I learned two words. Sitting here for five minutes. <laughs> I'm hoping that I learn more, more words, and then I'll, I'll get to speak their dialect also. Pido, pido, pido. Hi guys, welcome to Mima Village, the Honey Village in Nagaland. We're finally here guys. This is Thawazu Bee Farm. It's called Thawazu Bee Farm. This is what it looks like. Ah, there are some stalls as well. Pure, organic, raw and unfiltered honey you get it here. These are all honey. Oh, look at this. This is what a traditional breakfast looks like. I'm going to really enjoy this one. This is the first time I'm going to be trying this type of authentic uh, breakfast. <laughs> this is this is so interesting Mima like this plate. <laughs> Mima village you know, you know a breakfast you eat it like this one. <laughs> and this is the first time I'm going to be trying this type of breakfast. Okay, this one's steam nagada. Yes. Uh, puff rice. Puff rice. Plain nagada. Uh -huh. And then nagada with akune. Oh, oh, you, oh akune. <laughs> this sounds like a very good breakfast for me. I'm going to try each one of them. Let's try the akune first. Being a naga, akune di first. I'll try this one. Anyway, let's try this one first. Gomchal, but the bishibalo water, I think so. And this one is plain now. I think yeah. it's kind of roasted, not Yeah, roasted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is puff rice. This is what it looks like. <laughs> mm. Sticky rice. This one will go really well with the akuni wala chutney actually because like I said na. Mm. Mm. And this is millet. Quite filling for a breakfast actually. And also complimentary. Kikwa abnya la dialek pado. Zato. Zato ko wala na. And they say that village ka prepared uh, local brew are actually the best ones. Very pure. Let's try. Cheers. <laughs> Nice. How is it? Very good, very good. Is this honey? Yeah, that's honey. Wow, look at this, guys. Alright, after I try this, I'm gonna try this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the millet first. Hmm, I really like this one. Mm. Very pure, okay? This is. Very pure, very rich in taste, actually. So good. Oh my god, this is mm -hmm. this is the best honey I tried so far. Mm. So good. So Mima village, I like I told you it's uh, known as the honey village and uh, this is they actually practice a traditional method of underground beekeeping. So meet him. <laughs> Are you camera shy or not? <laughs> A little bit, huh? <laughs> but for today, you'll have to forget that there's a camera, na. So here, you know, there's also this cute uh, <laughs> watch star made of bamboo. Completely, everything here, including the step, the post. So we jacket, upper jacket, take the view. 
Oh, yes, what we have to watch our footsteps. <laughs> yes, very much. And I'm scared of heights. It's, oh, wow. The view is really good, yeah. huh? This is the view. But, Kaisa, I'm not so big keeper, isn't it? I'm not a big keeper, no. Runner, hotel. Oh, hotel runner. So, I'm not a big keeper, no. So, I'm not a big これでてけ、ライクアハジャゴだけゴバ。アハジャゴエナ。ホタヤエナ。サオレ。うん。マルアシタイエトナ。うん。トゥナイ。パカンテモステ。ウエルナ。うん。キニャクレ、ソプナ
So now this is a modern approach. So the bee boxes are kept inside, and only the entrance of the bees are, you know, uh, are open. Okay. So uh, this can serve as a tool shed for the farmers, and also become a, a shed for the boxes also. So it's a multi, it becomes a multi-purpose shed, and this is a very good approach to modern bee keeping. Can we go inside and yes, yes. look at it? No problem. It is no 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 tension. Like to know, right? No no. So the entry is from the outside, right? Yes, yes, yes. Bee farming is widely practiced in Nagaland. And after watching this video, if you want to know how the best quality honey is produced, then you must visit the Mima village in Nagaland, which is famous for its unique apiculture where the bees have their hives on the ground. Once you visit this place, the beekeepers will take you around the whole process with great hospitality. So make sure you visit this place next time when you come to Nagaland.